Slick Nipson. Check it out. All right, people. Now, let's talk Grammys one more time. The Grammys are complete fucking bullshit, okay? Now, let me let y'all know about all these conspiracies that people claim the Grammys have. The, the people who run the Grammys, okay, they're not picking who wins the best rap category. Surprise, surprise, okay? You know who picks who wins the best rap category? It's actually motherfuckers who are writers on the radio, on TV, People who have won Grammys in the past, who have writing credits, it's people in the industry. And they look for rap niggas in the industry who's willing to fill out paperwork, all that shit, and actually go through the process to become a voter. That's how Grammys are voted on. Now, you might be like, wait, so why are niggas complaining if Macklemore wins, Iggy wins, or other people win that they think should not win if the people from the culture got a chance to vote but don't vote? It's kind of like complaining about Donald Trump, but you did not vote against him. What's wrong with you? Now, it gets a little more complicated because in with the Grammys, the Grammys do have some type of control. While they do not pick the winner... They definitely determine categories, okay? They determine categories, and of course, they have these rounds, supposedly. And this is all legend. You can read up on it. But they have these rounds where you submit music. So a record label submits music for any artist that they got, right? If it passes the requirements, deadlines, and all that other shit has a certain amount of whatever statistic they actually go by, they consider it, they compete it with other songs, and they kind of boil it down to a nominee list, okay? That's how they do it, and then they give it to the writers or give it to the people who vote, they vote, okay? Now, the politics is being played because they could determine who fits in what category, right? Again, you could fit one nigga in one category and then not fit his song in another category, which clearly means he can't win the other category, which might give favor to someone else. So this is the problem with the Grammys, okay? Among other things with them not getting a lot of shit right is that they don't even categorize things correctly and pretty much they show a blatant disregard for people of color. Now, even Drake, the half-skinned mulatto nigga, okay? He got something to say about it. He has spoken up about the Grammys, and the crazy thing is he won twice. Now, usually when people win at these big award shows, and we all know the Grammys, even though a lot of people are discrediting it now, it has so much prestige because it's been going on for decades, okay? I think they had the 60-second staging of the shit, okay? The the, the BT Pop Awards been going on for like three years. Who gives a fuck? But something that's been going on for decades, over 50 years, you put a lot of weight on that, okay? Now, Drake won two awards, okay? But he's still not happy because he still don't feel like he was done right, okay? He won the Grammy for Best Rap Slash Sung Performance and also for Best Rap Song with Hotline Bling. Now, let's actually explain what both of those mean. Best Rap Slash Sung Performance means it's kind of like a collab between rapping and singing and Hotline Bling won for that. Now, it's the only song to ever win where there's not two people on the song, but okay, we'll give it a pass just because Drake, I guess, raps on the song, even though I don't really see it, except for like three bars, but he definitely sings on the song. So they're saying Drake collaborated with himself, and he basically rapping song on the song. Okay, okay, fine. Now, the next one is the puzzling one. They gave Drake the best rap song of the year for Hotline Bling. What, nigga? Now, again, I would have a debate with anybody if they thought Hotline Bling was a rap song. This was literally a, if anything, more R&B or definitely a pop song. However, it won for best rap song. Now, he spoke about this, of course, while doing an interview. And again, you guys can listen to the whole thing on LateNightCreeps.com. If you're wondering where this part is, it's around the 26th minute. But this is what he said. He says, even though Highline Bling is not a rap song, the only category they managed to fit me in is a rap category. Maybe because I've rapped in the past or maybe because I'm black. I can't figure out why. Just like I can't figure out why One Dance was not nominated. Now, let me stop there because why wasn't One Dance nominated? Now, it, it could be more complex than just uh, it not getting the nod because the label, which is Cash Money slash Young Wing, they got to submit it. Of course, it got to be submitted appropriately. It has to pass a deadline. So maybe it's not even the Grammys fault why One Dance wasn't nominated. Maybe One Dance gets nominated next year. But as far as Hotline Bling, it was eligible, and it was nominated, but it was nominated only for rap categories. Now, let's see what else he says. He says, I love the rap world, and I love the rap community, but you're right. I write pop songs for a reason. I want to be like Michael Jackson. I want to be like artists that I've looked up to. Those are pop songs, but I never get the credit for that. I won two awards last night, but I don't even want them because it feels weird for some reason. It just doesn't feel right to me. 
They want to pacify me by handing me something, put me in that category because that's the only place you could figure out where to put me, okay? Now, he also said he did not attend the Grammys because he wasn't going to skip out on shows in London where he was performing for his fans. Completely understand that, but let's get to the meat of the matter, okay? Is the Grammys on some fuck shit, okay? They are. Of course they motherfucking are. Think about it. If you are going to nominate songs like either One Dance or Hotline Bling or let's say Controller got nominated, if you're going to nominate those motherfucking songs for Grammys, they shouldn't be competing with Schoolboy Q and Chance the Rapper. They should be competing with Adele, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and Lady Gaga. Y'all niggas know what it is. But of course, here's the thing. Because, and he has a point, because he's black, right? Because he's a rap Negro at the end of the day, no matter how light-skinned, how jovial he seems at times, they're saying, yo, listen, stay in the rap categories. But think about it. He outsold Beyonce. I'm sorry to say the Beehive, don't kill me. But he outsold Beyonce. His single did better than the Lemonade joints, right? Hotline Bling was a bigger song than most of the songs on Lemonade. Yet, he was not nominated for a pop song while Beyonce was. Listen, the only person who outsold Drake and did better commercially on the charts was Adele. And Adele is obviously pop. So why is the number two guy not pop? Why is he just all in the rap categories? And again, the people who were robbed from the rap categories because Hotline Bling won there, they should be feel pissed off. Why is Hotline Bling winning in our category? That nigga not rapping right now. He raps on other songs. I can understand if you put like Six Man from like, if you're in this too late, or if you put like Western Road Flows or something like that, but you're putting Hotline Bling in the best rap category. I completely understand. And that's why it further proves everyone's point. The Grammys are bullshit. A lot of politics, behind the scenes shit. And also, I know a lot of people are making this whole stink about, oh, Beyonce didn't win. And listen, I'm pretty sure they told Beyonce she wasn't going to win. I'm pretty sure they told her what she was going to win, what she wasn't going to win. And she showed up to the show to perform. They're not blindsiding people. They're playing politics for ratings. Okay, these award shows, these TV award shows are playing politics for ratings. They want the biggest audiences to tune into their network you usually see after the show is over they roll out like a premiere of a new show because they want that ratings to be good as well it's all fucking gimmicks okay in the comments make sure you guys like let me subscribe what's your thoughts on this okay let me know